Hi there, I'd just like to pick up a conversation I was having about breastfeeding and its potential positives um, and talk about the gut biome and uh, its relationship to early cognitive brain development in children. Um, there was some very interesting research that came out yesterday from Carlson and Al, Rebecca, Nick, uh, Nick Meyer at the University of Carolina. Um, and this came out in a title called Biological Psychiatry, which is a magazine in America. Anyway, this work is is increasing the relevance of the research that's coming out now about which links the gastrointestinal microbacteria composition to the development, the cognitive development outcomes in children, even the brain volume size. Um, they seem to, they, they find, this is a quite an, an interesting study because it's the first time it's really been connected through past animal studies into actual studies with humans. And they have linked and made a connection between the development of the um, gut biome, which is the bacterial makeup uh, and diversity in one-year-old babies, if they're retested um, for cognitive development at two years old, they found significant difference in those who had a more proliferated gut biome. <clears throat> yeah, they seem to not pick up this idea of that there's a diversity of all the different types of bacteria in the gut that didn't seem to be more Im as important in young children as it does when you get older. It seems to be how specific groups of bacteria cluster and co-function together. They kind of connect and cluster in groups which kind of work together um, like a community. Um, it's very interesting that we have about, as an adult, we have about one kilogram of bacteria in our gut, in our human intestine. This seems to increasingly um, be understood as acting like a kind of virtual organ in terms of immune function. Um, very, very important it's in relationship to the development of brain health. Um, and this has been identified for some time as one of the hottest areas in medicine. Um, there's a, in, in UCC in Cork, um, there's a, a doctor called Timothy Dinan who um, runs the research centre there, which is one of the leading places in actually in the world in researching this gut biome. It seems that the first year is the foundational growth for this mi microbial colonisation of the gut. But the link here is with the brain is at the very same time, this is a hugely important time for the development of the brain. It's where the brain fires and wires and synapses and connects and forms networks and myelinates, which is kind of the sheath, the fatty coverings of, of, of the brain, which um, make these nerve pathways function much, much more clearly and, 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 and pristinely. The interesting thing for for us is, and as parents, is how do we maximise the 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 biome, the gut biome? And there are certain foods and substances that can be taken in prebiotics, probiotics. The first thing and the most important thing, as I've talked about before, is there is a significant difference in the gut biome of a breastfed baby versus a bottle-fed baby. Now, this is actually more in terms of particular groupings. It's not necessarily to do with diversity, because actually in some bottle-fed babies, there's a bigger diversity. It's to do with actually how these different groups link up and connect and not necessarily diversity the other most important another really important thing that's been found of course is vaginal delivery needs to be encouraged cesarean sections link directly to a decreased gut biome in children and this is hugely important <clears throat> vaginal delivery what happens is when the head goes down through the vagina there's a huge amount of natural bacteria in the vagina that the baby gets washed with and it's in relationship to their skin and they, it's in their mouths and they um 
it it forms all it seems to form a, a a natural basis for the development of this gut biome and this gut flora so much so that it's becoming increasingly fashionable if someone is due an electus cesarean people will take vag- vaginal gut bacteria cultures and grow them and plaster them on the baby when they're born and i think that's a very good idea if you can get around to that ideally a vaginal delivery is is the best other things that are important of course are to minimise the use of antibacteria, um, antibiotics in the first year, which are used a lot, but the doctors are, are waking up to this for actually more with regards to the development of superbugs and and resistance to antibiotics. But actually, you take an antibiotic and it kills a huge amount of the diver- diversity of the gut biome. So we should minimise the use of antibiotics except when absolutely necessary. I think that's very important. Also, this use of antibacterial cleaners. Everything is antibacterial hand washes, antibacterial um, clothes washing, antibacterial washing up liquids and cleaners for surfaces. These, I think, are having an eroding effect on the gut, natural gut flora. Some of the, some of the most wonderful um, ways of get, getting natural gut flora is being out, kid, being out in nature. Soil is a very important source for for these natural, healthy bacteria, and so it's it's almost the opposite to having a super clean house. It's uh, you know I'm not advocating a dirty house, but I'm advocating kind of more of a real existence where children are allowed to to, to be out and sit in on the ground and play around with the mud, etc. <laughs> a little bit, um, a more naturalistic way. I think it seems to 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 link up. This is for me a very interesting area. Um, when we're working with children, especially with autistic children, and you know the gut dysfunction and gut dysbiosis seems to have a big effect on the brain functioning. And if you can normalise to some degree the gut um, bacteria and the gut function, it seems to help free up their nervous system. So I think it's a, a, an area that, which is going to be increasingly used in the future and something that we're really paying a lot of attention to in our work right now. Okay, I wish you well.